best universities for masters of architecture in the world this is the question that i have often gotten from you guys so i thought like you know let's make a video about it and let's also mention what are the expenses that you need to arrange before even thinking about these universities because some of these universities are really really expensive as well and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos and without any delays let's get started with the video So the first university that is on my list is Bartlett School of Architecture in UK. This is one of the most prestigious uh, universities in Europe. So when UK was the part of Europe, so it is one of the best. Uh, I have made a video with one of my friend who was studying masters of architecture in this university a long time back. So you can go and check that video out as well. but given the reputation in the entire industry and in the world this university ranks one of the best in the world i would say it's the best but one of the best in the world and the fees for this university is around 33000 euros yes you heard me right this fee structure is very high it is not uh, comparable with any other universities in europe so you have to arrange a good sum of amount before um, even thinking about this and also one another part that if you want to get into this university of course you need to have at least eight pointers and above and an exceptional portfolio and also some experience on field as well because they take into consideration all of these while applying so guys next university on my list is MIT in US yes I I know that you might be saying that okay but this is more of an engineering college why this so given the reputation online uh, given the feedbacks uh, from the people whom I work with in US this is one of the best next is I think so Princeton if you want to consider something into architecture princeton has given a lot of data it has given a uh, initial framework for bim that is now iso 19650 i would say that you know i will keep princeton and mit on the same level the cost for masters in this university is also around the same price that is around 64 to 65000 dollars us dollars so again it is again a very very high amount so think about that while applying or if you get admission into it you need to arrange that much of amount and also i would like to say that other college in colleges in us are also approximately similar amount but around 10 to 15000 dollars cheaper than these top universities so think about it and of course getting into these university is difficult but once you get into these university that tag that you carry on your resume will get you into the best of the best companies in the entire world so that is a very essential part to understand why you should aim for the best institute and best universities in the world i couldn't do it i couldn't do it i didn't have the financial background as well as the uh, curriculum based background i wasn't the exceptional student in classroom so i couldn't do it but of course if you are looking for something aim for the best always third university on my list is delft university in netherlands i think i'm spelling it right so this university is also one of the best in europe uh, a lot of reviews i have read i have went through a lot of comments on reddit and like how people describe this university and this university's curriculum is really good and also people uh, are really working into good firms after completing their masters from here as how i research is basically i go on linkedin i search for the university i search for the alumni who have done their masters and i see what they are doing right now so this is how i make a cross check based on uh, what i have seen online so what you see online is always a reflection of something that is actually happening on ground but you always have to go and cross reference and cross check by seeing that okay where are the alumni placed right now what are they doing right now how good are they doing in their life right now 
so these kind of things i take into consideration before bringing you any information uh, from my side so these are the parameters that i have taken into consideration again the fees is 17000 euros so i would say that it's not bad compared to the other universities that i have seen even bartlett is very expensive compared to this one so uh, you can definitely try your luck for this university as well now coming to the next university on my list this university is one of the cheapest on my list because it's based in switzerland this is swiss federal institute of technology this is their government funded institute of technology and one of the most reputed in the entire europe and the fee structure is so cheap because in switzerland the education is free uh similar to germany where germany also provides masters in around 6000 to 7000 euros switzerland also does the same again getting into these university is also very difficult you don't have to uh learn any other language that's why this university is on my list you can directly go into this university by knowing english itself so it's not important but of course you should have the knowledge of uh local language over there the cost of this university is around 4 to 5000 euros oh uh, sorry not euros swiss franc 4 to 5000 swiss franc so it's comparatively very very cheap uh it's even cheaper than canadian universities okay so if you are good in studies if you have remarkable uh, portfolio if you have really good mark i would say try for switzerland if you can get into this i think so you will change your life and your destiny forever so again aim for the best <laughs> next university on my list is national institute of singapore this is again one of the best and i am giving you this name in particular based on what are the reviews online what are the uh status or like the people share their reviews about this particular university their curriculum what competitions they have won what are the products coming out of these universities products as in like what are the alumni is coming out of these universities so that's why i have kept this university of course there are better universities uh name wise and ranking wise than uh national institute of singapore but overall if you'll see the quality that they produce and the things that they teach is really good and of course singapore is one of the most developed countries in the entire world so also you need to think in that perspective of course there is one thing that uh, working in these countries can be difficult uh, in terms of uh, job or like growth in your career i think you can get a job but growing in your career or opening your own firm in these countries are difficult but again when you carry a badge of these big universities and institutes on your resume i think you open your world for any possibility like you can work anywhere around the world because these are globally recognized universities and guys the cost of this university is around 40000 singaporean dollars i don't know the conversion rate but around 40000 dollars it was mentioned on their website itself i haven't looked into the requirement exact requirement what they need but i will definitely paste a link in the description for this specific university and all the above university that i have mentioned and few of the additional universities that i would like to mention is again harvard is there barclay is there even uh, university of british columbia in um, canada is pretty good elven and venloan over here so these are few of the university over here in northern hemisphere but if you want to go to australia or something i will make a separate video i have made a lot of videos about universities in australia i will also make an updated video about what are the best university uh, universities right now in australia so hang on tight for that video and i hope this video helped you or uh make you understand like or made you understand like what are the uh things that you should consider while applying for a university abroad so if you like this video please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel and guys 
I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.